Yeah. All right. Uh, this uh, number four, IB seems to love uh, to give you half-life problems where we don't actually need to use uh, the exponential function, uh, where we can just sort of figure it out an integer number of half-lives. So I decided to give you one of these uh, so we can at least practice doing those, right? So uh, notice in this case, um, we got 24 grams and we want to know, you know, it's got a half-life of 14 minutes, right? Um, and uh, I'm wondering if that's actually 42 minutes, right? Okay, um, it seems unlikely that it's 42 seconds. All right, so in what time will you have three grams of it left? Well, let's just go 24. The next time you got 12, then you got six, and you have three, right? So this is one, two, three half lives, three times, if every half life is 14 minutes, three times 14 minutes is indeed that is 42 minutes. Okay. So yeah, indeed, that uh, should actually say minutes. There you go. So just just look for that, right? You know, there's some relationship uh, between the amount of time that you have, right, um, and the half life, right? It's some even multiple of half lives, like four half lives or five or something like that. And then look at the the amount of, of diminution of the um, of the radioactive substance. That'll be some factor of two.